Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I got a little bit of cowboy boot news for you today. I came across an article on National Geographic last week and it was talking about the danger that the arapaima is in. Now arapaima is used to make big bass cowboy boots. You know, that diamond shaped scaly leather that looks kind of cool. So they're endangered. Let's talk about that. Okay, so I found this article last week on the National Geographic titled Cowboy Boots Sold in the U.S. Fueled the Decline of Pangolins. And I bet you're like, wait, Jeremiah, I'm here for the big bass story, not for pangolins. Well, they're kind of related. I got to start here because this is the beginning of my whole process. What it is is that the pangolin basically makes the anteater boot. So you may have seen boots with anteater leather. That is actually coming from the pangolin. But in the year 2000, pangolin leather was banned in the US. So you haven't been able to legally obtain a boot made after 2000 in the US. You can still buy them on eBay pre-ban anteater. Uh, but there's a lot of websites that don't even allow you to do that. Like eBay won't even allow you to sell anteater skin boots on their platform. So it's been pretty tightly controlled since 2000. And in 2016 or 2017, 180 plus countries came together to internationally ban the trade of the pangolin. This wasn't banned completely because of cowboy boots. Before that, their scales have been used for medicinal qualities by the natives, which has since been disproven. There are no medicinal qualities. Uh, their scales are just basically the same uh, material as our fingernails. And also rich people in the pangolin native countries consumed pangolins, specifically either baby pangolins or fetus pangolins because they thought that it would give them some sort of virility and make them, you know, even more abundant as far as the children that they could produce. Like that has been disproven too. So all of this isn't because of cowboy boots. I just want to put that forth, but still the pangolin has been banned from trade, which is really important because apparently this is a really sensitive creature. Like I watched some YouTube videos, they get stressed out really easy. Like you can't even keep these in captivity. They die in zoos because there's just way too much noise and there's just too much going on for them. They just don't like all the busy, busy. Since pangolin has been banned, there's still a high demand for that diamond texture that you can get with their hides. Enter the arapaima, also known as piruku, pira, pira, piruku, I think you pronounce it. Piru, pira, piruku, I don't know. Arapaima has a very similar look to the anteater skin, to the pangolin skin. So after pangolins were banned, sales of the arapaima skins went through the roof. Now, what is a pear primal? Like, what, what is that? Arapaima is a crazy big fish found in Brazil, in the Amazon. Like, look at that. This arapaima is bigger than that man, and it's 400 pounds. It's a huge fish, all right? But the problem is, is that even though that texture of leather was still in demand, the arapaima was already starting to be extinct. Like it was already starting to go endangered because of overfishing. See, the problem is these fish are apparently really easy to catch. They breathe air. They don't breathe underwater when they're adults. They come up for air and actually gulp the air above the water every five to 15 minutes, which makes them really easy to spot for fishers and hunters and things. So all you basically have to do is go to a body of water in Amazon, apparently when they were 
uh, abundant and just wait for some to come up for air and then you just spear them and then you'd be able to drag them out somehow if you were a, basically a, a superhero Amazonian like this guy apparently is. Overfishing by Amazon villages is one thing, but this is also largely a Brazil problem. Brazil politicians tend to follow this line of bioeconomics, which means they encourage the overfishing or just ignore the overfishing of the arapaima so that they can charge more for the arapaima goods because this fish is a large export. This brings in a lot of money to Brazil. So if they control how many are around, then that means they can skyrocket the price of it, basically taking advantage of this species and making them endangered for their own benefit. Sounds like bull to me. So after I found out that little bit of information, I went back to the study that the National Geographic article was actually based on. And it's called Of Cowboys, Fish and Pangolins, U.S. Trade in Exotic Leather. And in the article, it says that almost 80% of Air Pima landings in Brazil were illegal in 2015. Brazil is not regulating the trade of arapaimas and are basically making this species go extinct. And it's a real shame. So here's the question. Should you buy arapaima, big bass, cowboy boots, even though they are an unregulated, endangered species at the moment? This is always a personal question of ethics. Like I'm not gonna judge because when it comes down to it, it's not your fault that Brazil has corrupt politicians pushing bioeconomics for more money. But on the other side of things, if you do buy that, then it does encourage their entire plan to increase the price of arapaima based off of supply and demand. So if you are buying big bass boots, you are increasing the demand and shortening the supply of it and helping out Brazil's plan. So it's like a, it's like a double edged sword. Like it's not your fault, but if you buy some, then you're sort of contributing to the whole problem. Like it's a really weird situation to be in. I don't like it because when it comes down to it, it's Brazil's fault. And the fact is, in areas of Brazil where the arapaima is regulated, they are actually thriving. So they can do something about this. But I just wanted to make this video to bring this problem to your attention because in reality, this story it doesn't get a lot of coverage. And when you look at it in the way that this is titled, like cowboy boots sold in the US fueled the decline of pangolins. Now that's not 100% true. It's kind of clickbaity and turns us off. Cause when you really start to read into it, that's not really the story. So it's a touchy situation. Let me know what you guys think of this issue. Would you buy big bass cowboy boots right now or would you consider passing on it and encouraging Brazil to actually get their sh together? Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe for more cowboy boot news, reviews, and other fun videos about cowboy boots. I also do some music videos if this is your first time watching and like this video and don't forget to comment what you think about Arapaima sales and how they are being used in cowboy boots and what Brazil should do about it. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hey there, Arapaima. Baby, please don't go. Yeah. I just want to tell your home country something that they should already know. Yeah. Get it together and help those aeropanels grow. All right. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for watching today. I will see you all next time. Peace. I just want to tell your home country something that they should already know. 
yeah, get it together and help those aeroplanes grow.